the second video, I want to get you guys' thoughts on the second video again. Um, yeah, that one. Why do no. women get so defensive when they're what called out on because something? Because you don't want to be honest. You don't want to deal no, with the truth. We, you don't want to change. We what? just we just Not don't want to deal with it. Exactly. Like, why? Why is that an issue? Because we want to. We kind of want to do what we want to do, and we don't see you guys. Men complain about things that are just sometimes just why 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 are you upset about it you do and i feel because like there's something for wrong me, for me and the only way to communicate and fix things is to address it i don't it like to be told and deal that with it I, and fix it i don't like to be told that i'm wrong i don't oh, like that's, to be that's told established when i'm wrong that's established we, so we, I, I get know agitated that. when right. i find out that i'm wrong about something okay i get agitated um, and that's why I, I guess I get defensive because I just want to do what I want to do. And no, it's not always right, but that's, I just want to do what I want to do. And when you call me out, it makes me defensive because I don't even understand why you would be calling me out. It's not that serious. <laughs> Yo, thank you, D. Oh Where my did you find gosh. these videos? This is Paul was on his screen. Like. No, but is it real? Is it real? Is it real? Go on. It is. For the, not, do you think the not majority? For, yeah. Are we a minority or majority? Let's start there. I think it's real for the majority. I can only speak okay, for myself on. because um I struggled with that. I love this, time. by the way. I, I love I the I love the honesty, ladies. I'm not gonna lie. I actually like the honesty. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just struggle with just with authority in general, or just anyone telling me what to do. You can even just say, "Move the cup and look at me." Like, no. what do you mean? Why? <laughs> move the cup. Make I'll move it when I'm ready to move. You know, move the cup. Oh, so, oh. Dead uh, for you. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Whoa. Anyway. Yeah, which is it's really pathetic, and it, it affected me in school. A lot of things. And I only realized when I got into a relationship. And certain conversations were happening and not being told about my behavior. I was like, I don't really, I don't really like this. But I've had to learn that you have to take accountability. You actually have to take accountability. Mm. And it's okay to do that. It mm -hmm. doesn't make you less of a woman. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you... Makes you, you more of a woman. Right. Exactly that. But we, yeah, we do it. We go for it. It can be wrong and strong. Like, you know in the back of your mind, let it go, let it go now. Come on, let it go. And you, there's just something inside you that's just like... No. Oh, no. <laughs> just, no. I just don't want to. But I'll bring you food later, though. That's my way of thinking about it. I'm joking. Wow. In, my, in, my, in, my, the in, my, in my younger years, like like she said, um, I can identify with not wanting to take accountability, not wanting to be wrong in any capacity. And I think maybe because women are used to interacting with each other like that, like yeah, we're quite tight and petty. So when you get into these situations with right. men, it's like, um, what do you mean? You're trying to get at so me. So um, a man, you're saying a man is going to hold you accountable more than the woman is? Yeah, yeah 100%. Because okay. you know you've got the friends that will just tell you they'll just tell you what you want to hear. They know that they really should be saying to you, No, you shouldn't have done that. You, 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 you say, done that I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, they'll enable you. Like you'll call and say, Imagine da, 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 and deep down you know you're wrong, but they'll be like, How can he? And it's like, Yeah, how can he? <laughs> like, yeah, okay, yeah well. exactly. It's not good. <laughs> There's certain friends I don't call. <laughs> But, um, I mean, this is leaving me speechless. I'm not even gonna lie; like, this is actually leaving me speechless. I love that for you. Um, <laughs> Rare. Have you experienced that? Have you experienced the, that wrong and strong in women? Uh, I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have. Didn't last long. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, like I'm, you know, if I'm, if I'm wrong about something, then I'll take accountability. Be like, you know what? I could have done better here. Right. Because mm -hmm. if we're in a relationship, I'm working to make this better. Mm -hmm. But we both have to do that, otherwise this isn't going to work. Mm. And I truth. think doing this show and speaking to so many women over the time that I've spoken to women, right? When she said, oh, I don't, I don't like to be told that I'm wrong, right? It resonated so much with me because I've done so many shows with so many women and I've had so many conversations with women. And I'm like, I, in my head, I'm like, I know that you know that what I'm saying makes sense. But for some reason, you're battling. Mm. For some, I don't know what the reason is because I can't understand it. But for some reason, like you said, women will know that they're wrong and they'll be strong. They will know that they're wrong and still battle. Yeah, why is that? Yeah, why? Go on, Kit. Go on, Kit. No, I'm just not, ge like, genuine question. Like, why is that? Sometimes people aren't um, fighting you, they're fighting past trauma. So I can only speak for myself. And when I'm, 
reflecting back on some of the times I've been very resilient, it's like, quote unquote, the, the whole daddy issues, my dad wasn't around. I always used to, when he did start to show up, it was like, you weren't around when I needed you. You can't now just pop back into my life and tell me what to do. Mm. So when I was dating, when I was younger, mm. it started feeling like, well, you're not my dad. You're not trying to be, but it sounds like you're trying to have the same authority my dad tried to have over me. So that's the oh, wow, that's how you say. would treat men. Like, you're not my dad. Like, that's what you, would be you, the tape that's playing you, in your head. When you're, you're speaking to me, all I hear in my mind is like, you're trying to be like my dad. You're not even, you might not even be doing anything mm. relatable, but it's like, I'm, you're triggering mm. the trauma inside me that reminds right. me of that experience. Right. right. Yeah. That makes sense. Interesting. Yeah. So would you say a lot, a lot of women that are like that would have quote unquote daddy issues? I mean, I can only speak for myself, yeah. but I can definitely, I think women should think about that when they're interacting with men like are you speaking to the man in front of you or is that triggering are you speaking to your trauma exactly Mm. and on the other side of that it could also be that you're spoiled growing up as well and i've i've had conversations with my parents about certain things growing up you know is that what it is yeah Right. And as I've had conversations with my parents yeah. about things that I just understand why you allowed or thought was okay because then when you do get into the real world and I struggled I think in primary school I had issues with friendships because I felt like I don't know, this may be a sense of entitlement or like I couldn't do wrong. Like, I, what, what do you mean you don't like me today? You can't not like me. What the hell? <laughs> like, and it, it's it's sad, but at least, I mean, I'm, I'm aware of it now. But I think sometimes if you do get spoiled or you certain things are nurtured that shouldn't be nurtured, it's just like you feel like you can, you're invincible. Mm. And yeah, that's not... Is, it, is, is that life. ego? Yeah, I guess. Women have yeah. really big and fragile egos yeah. they won't I think they Beyonce done a song about it yes ego, right? yeah. I love that song as well yeah and I do me too yeah <laughs> where, where does the ego come from like the garden. For, 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 for women in general like why do do you think women have such big egos it comes nowadays? from it comes from the womb we are create we actually are life givers we are way more powerful than a lot of us like to admit and we know that we are in control of most things and most situations so we play on that and and <laughs> it's like what uh, i don't think it's that Go on. I, well, Go on, okay, okay. I, I think it's um I, I just think it's the modern times we live in um you know there is a narrative and to be fair it's not women, women's fault but there is a narrative that every woman should be uh should be able to get the man she wants or the man that she wants should accept her for exactly who she is body positivity only applies to women it doesn't apply to men um we will openly criticize when a man does something wrong but if we criticize when a woman does something wrong it's labeled as misogyny or patriarchal there are a lot of things in place in society right now that are copes to prevent women from taking accountability for some of their shortcomings and it's not actually helping women because then it feeds the ego on top of the whole thing of like social media and constant validation the truth is as a woman you're always going to have options for men you're mm. always going to have, like, whether you're the most attractive or the least attractive, you're always going to have options, mm. um, which isn't a bad thing, but I think it's just a result of our times because back in the day, out, outside of social media, when, you know, there are standards for men and women in terms of how to behave and stuff, like, it's just what people just took accountability and they would make relationships work, right. you know, because you both would. Mm. Um, I'm not saying men are perfect, but I, I think it's a result of the environment of our society right now, which is mm. what feeds maybe a lot of the egos, if that makes sense. Mm. 